one of the things that I love about the Book of Mormon is that it's personal and it's real. And um, you know, when I read the Bible, I can feel that it's the Word of God, but it feels almost as if you're reading kind of like a textbook sometimes. But with the Book of Mormon, it's like a journal of, of a family. And the questions they ask are real questions that like I've wondered and my mom has wondered and my family's wondered. And my mom didn't grow up you know, believing or even knowing what the Book of Mormon was. And one of her questions was, what happens when we die? And it's the same question that a lot of people have asked. And the Book of Mormon has the answer to that. It says, Therefore, there is a time appointed unto men that they shall rise from the dead. And there is a space between the time of death and the resurrection. And now concerning this space of time, what becometh of the souls of men is something which I have inquired diligently of the Lord to know. And this is a thing of which I do know. And when the time cometh, when all shall rise, and then shall they know that God knoweth all the times which are appointed unto men. Now concerning the uh, state of the soul between death and the resurrection, behold, it has been made known unto me by an angel that the spirits of all men, as soon as they are departed from this mortal body, yea, the spirits of all men, whether they be good or evil, are taken home to the God who gave them life. And I love that section right there because if you if you understand the context, his son is asking him, Dad, what happens? And his dad was the prophet, and his dad's like, I don't know, let me go pray and ask. And you get real time God answering a prayer. And he wrote it down because he knew that we would have the same questions. And I love how he explains what will happen to the people who follow Jesus Christ. It says, and then shall it come to pass that the spirits of those who are righteous are received into a state of happiness, which is called paradise, a state of rest, a state of peace, where they shall rest from all their troubles and from all care and sorrow. And I love that because that's the state before heaven. That's just the state in between when you die and before final judgment, when God will judge you on all your works. And to think that that will be a state of peace and paradise it excites me to think about what heaven will be like when you're actually living with God all the time. You receive all those blessings.